Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Bravely Second. So last time we left off, just about the fight. So let's just go ahead and do it. I think here we're just going to put a Resurrect on Mist. Then we're going to do the Benediction on a Mist. And let's just go ahead and default, default, and default here and we should be good. This way if we die or need a heal, we'll be fine either way. So if she gets hit, we get healed basically instantly. We're absolutely broken. Okay, um, with you, let's go ahead and uh, do our thing. So let's go Meteor, Rain, all foes. Meteor, Rain, all foes. And that should do quite a bit of damage there. Yep. I don't particularly know who to take out first, but I guess it won't really matter too much. Let's go ahead and do some stomps. I guess we'll take out Amy first, just because... She's the one that actually does most of the damage. Let's do a free lunch and then an amp strike. Let's go target for Amy here. And then with you, we're going to do the same thing. Meteor Rain, Meteor Rain, and we should be good here. Fire Cake. Ooh, that makes fire a weak point here. Okay, that didn't kill anyone though, so it's not that big of a deal here. We might even kill Amy right here, honestly. Considering the amount of damage we're doing, yeah. Easy. Amy! Sorry, darling. I'm done for. Seems sure like are. I'm always letting you down. How can you say that, Amy? You are my sugar, my spice, the spatula beneath my wings. My sweet, sweet sugar cake! Oh. We don't have to kill you, we just have to beat you in a fight. Y'all can continue to live in all that good stuff. You don't have to die. Like, just, like, say I'm good. Stop, you know? Get my hair up a little bit. They kicked our rears again, darling. They sure did. And scared our customers away. Oh, the indignity. It's all right, darling. Your fans will be back. I just know it. No one can resist your pancakes for long. Amy, my sweet. Oh, darling. All right, all right. Enough with the lovey-dovey. Well, perhaps you could set up shop here next. What the heck? An invitation? From Gafladio, the estate of House Geniolgia. Your sweets really are to die for. They'd go over great back home, I know it. Go there and ask for Alfred. He'll set you up with everything you need. <laughs> what a terrible chore. But very well. I will consider it. Oh, and if you wish to pass, be my guest, I suppose. Thank you. Let's get packing, woman. <laughs> woman? Woman? You're cruising for a bruising, mister. Here's wishing you two lovebirds bliss. You too, cutie. <clears throat> well, shall we? Whoa, Master! Where were you? Ah, uh, yes. I simply had to investigate the secret of our opponent's confections for myself. You were eating pancakes. And with my last bite, I identified their secret ingredient. Yogurt. You didn't save a bite for us? C'est pas juste! Okay, well now we can move on. Yeah, it looked like a little, like, uh, medic shop, but it was a cake shop. Or a pancake shop, technically. Okay, you know, the camp mancers are under somewhere. Wow, look at all these cats. Yes, it is said that cats from all corners of the world congregate here, in this place. One might say it is a sort of grand shrine to the feline. That's a meowsing! Uh... <laughs> Be solid here. Tsubaki, 
My loyal companion. So this is where you two first met. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. I just wasted those turbo ethers, by the way. <laughs> He has been abandoned by the Clouder, just as I remember. He seemed so despondent I could not bear it, and so I resolved to bring him with me. The rejection he had suffered at the paws of his peers had left deep scars. It was not easy to earn his trust. Come, Tsubaki. Have a kipper. Oh, he remembers me. There, that's a good kitty. Hey, little kitty. Remember your buddy, Woody, Idia? Huh, I never liked cats anyway. <laughs> I don't think cats like having their noses tickled, Idia. Now, we have work to do. What's this? You found the compass, you say? <coughs> Why, if the Kaiser were to hear of this, you must hide it, and quickly. I know just the place. Yes, deep in Florum, in the hidden village of Sagita. Answer. Huh? What's going on? Shh. Listen. You remember the cat girl who works for the Kaiser and her network of feline spies, right? By planting false information, we're going to lure the Skyhold to Florum. Then we fire the SP cannon and. That's brilliant! Preparations are complete. Come whenever you are ready. Let's do it. All right. To Sajida, everyone. Tsubaki and I shall remain here and await word of your success. We must ensure that every cat in the network hears this information. Now, go and hide the compass in Sajita, as we discussed. I will remain here and, um, monitor events. Got it. If you need to get in touch, we're only a pendant away. Cool. Okay, so we got an, uh, let's go out one more, then we got a party chat. Cat charades. Huh? What are you doing? Shh. Alright, my turn. Meow, yeah, oh, come on. Uh, just when you, come on, I said, I'm over here. I've definitely seen this one before. Definitely, next up, me. Pet my back. Uh, just, what is this? What are you doing? Uh, okay. Um, I'm just, I don't want to read this. Isn't it, uh, sure. What, uh, sorry, I think I'm, yeah, I just, I just didn't want to read that. I just didn't want to have to meow a thousand, a couple thousand times there. It's probably better to just read it. Okay, we go to Sagita. So, let's go ahead and go there right away. Um, let's go ahead and do, what was what our, what is our things like? Okay, we're fine. Let's just go and say in with those turbo ethers. If I go to the end now, then they're wasted, so. And I am not a wasteful person, so. I will not do such a thing. Alright, we go to the Elder. What's up, dude? I welcome you, Emissary of the Moon, and your companions. Elder, the target is within firing range. Our mortal enemy has come. Today we fulfill our long-held duty and atone for the sin of our forebear. Ready the SP cannon! Full spread, maximum yield! Wait, you! What about your brother? It's all right. He has to be stopped. Are you sure about this? Lotus, give control of the cannon to you, Jenny Olja. Elder? When you are ready, boy, 
Pull the trigger. Y yes, sir. Denny, I'm sorry. An ambush? Preposterous! Was Manette in for Meowshin Superhighway? Compromised? Meow! Oh, I really did it, Meow! Forgive I really me, don't like her dialogue. Calm yourself, Manette. You are not to blame. Still, we'd better do something before things get hairy. Leave it to me! I got us into this, and I'll get us Meowed! Minette will buy time. Time enough for your meow to see to turn tail and escape. You what? But, but that would be a suicide mission. I don't care. Minette just doesn't want to be museless. Yeah, that word just didn't make Thank any sense. Thank you, your meow to see, for taking Minette by your side. For the first time in so long, Minette was part of a family. Just promise me you won't forget, Minette. Yes? Manette, you... you will not be forgotten, nor the dream you fought for. Meow! Meow! <laughs> That's all Manette needed to hear. Farewell, my friends! Meow! Go, Bismarck! The Skyhold is on fire! It's losing speed fast! A new de jouet. Bring the rubber dub alongside and let's board. You filthy liars! Mew pay for this! Geronimo! Uh, she jumped from the skyhold! And she's headed this way! We cats always land on our feet, no matter how far we fall. Meow, put up your paws! I'm not letting you flea bags anywhere near the skyhold! <laughs> Busy! Good little kitty! Please, with that talk. Alright. Default, 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 default here. Give it a few defaults. Okay, didn't hurt too bad. Call the win. Oh, we got Dread on Adia. That's a little bit annoying. We have something to cure Dread, right? A uh, cure Dread? Perfect. Put that on Adia. Call default. Ouch. Don't. No. Okay, now. That's fine. Let's just go ahead and let's go ahead and do what we normally do where let's do the revive mist and then we can do this mist. It's default. Let's use one of the ball whatever things. And then um I guess we can go ahead and just use the meteor rain. Meteor rain. There we go. Yeah, I'd forgotten how tough she is behind that cutesy exterior. I'm guessing you've given up on the world too. Yeah, Bismarck, what's the problem? Okay, let's do some meteor rains here. Okay, does a little bit of damage, but not that big of an issue. Anyway, Tiz is gonna go ahead and start getting our mists. 
so that should help us quite a bit here. Let's go ahead and do a free... Actually, let's go and default one more time here. And then maybe we'll do Grand Strike, and that'll be good for now. I hate humans. They shut me in a room full of noisy machines. They wrapped me in white and stuck me with prickly needles and pipes. She... she told me I wasn't a cat. You're useless, she said. No good for anything. Meow. I'll be a cat for you, Mommy. I'll be... Yeah, I'd rather just kill you. I'm not, like, super cool on this cat talk, so... Okay, Bismarck got poison there. Which is good. We got our healing going. Uh, we could probably do the Benediction Mist, and then, why not? We'll do the Resurrection Mist also. Let's go ahead and do the free lunch now. We can finally do this. No, oh, wait, I don't need free lunch with... I really need to change her sub, because her sub doesn't really help with Dia as much as everyone else does. You know what, let's just... I don't care, let's just do it. Let's just go ahead and do the free lunch with Magnolia, because she never seems to be able to get it off, so... Okay, we'll do the same thing. Oh, I don't even have enough mana for that second one there, so... Hopefully we just kill him here. There goes Bismarck. Yeah, so we're not going to have enough mana for you here. But maybe the first one will kill her? Maybe? Yep. Lady Minette, I am Tsubaki, your loyal servant. I meow you! You are the one with the sword man! The same. I am heading to your side with all haste. Pray do not do anything rash. What could a single house cat do to save me? You misunderstand, milady. A simple house cat I may be, yet I bask in the unconditional love of my master. I was a lonely stray. Cast from the clouder, but now I feast on kippers and the choicest cuts of meat. My master sacrifices everything for me. Since taking me in, he dines on nothing but rice gruel every single day. Hmm. Well, good for you. I had his majesty, but now, now. My Lady Minette, you must not lose your faith in humans. There are many kind-hearted souls out there. Wait! Tsubaki! Whoa, Master! Minette, Napkabi. Meow? Tsubaki speaks true. It is too soon to give up on humankind. If you have nowhere else to go, come stay with us. Meow? Tsubaki wants you here. It's what you've always wished for, is it not? A family? <sighs> A family? But I can't just... that isn't how it works! Don't be so sure. My home is humble, but it could be a happy one for you. The winters are hard and the wind is cold. But the wood stove is always burning. Meow! A real wood stove? With a fluffy cushion in front of it? 
I wouldn't have to do anything. I could take naps whenever I wanted. <laughs> but of course, catnap to your little heart's content. You are welcome too, my regal friend. Just do, um, promise not to eat anyone. Bismarck is the main character of the Could story. Could it be true? Minette won't be the lonely stray anymore? Mew! Mew! Bro, if I was Kami Izumi, bro, I'd be like, Mew! You can come, but just oh, stop I talking. Know. See, don't, it will do, take some don't, time, as these things often do. That. But I assure you, you shall come to be one of the family. Mr. Kami Izumi is an honorable man. You can trust him. Well, I'm, I'm glad it turned out happy. Splendid work, my friends. How goes it, Mr. Lotus? All is going according to plan. Firing the cannon forced the sky hold east. It's trying to flee to Eternia. But it has suffered great damage. Its movement is slow. We can't let them escape. Professor Noisen, come in! You called, my shining stars? Focus, my pupils. Send all the power you can muster to the crystal. This is the passion and soul of a scholar! Check this out. I didn't earn my five stars for nothing. <laughs> stronger, my children, stronger. Behold, our magic flows into the crystal and its power grows. above the ocean. You must seize this chance. Prepare for battle and board the fortress. You got it, Professor. And thank you. I'll leave the rest in your eminently capable hands, sir. I can't wait to see a six-star scholar in action. I will be hoping, wishing, and praying for your swift and triumphant return. Professor Norzen? Aretha? Pudgius? Thank you. All of you. Well done. While you pursue the Skyhold, I shall take this child and... <sighs> take care, everyone. <laughs> She's out. Is she taking a... catnap? Master Kamizumi. A moment, if you would. What is it, Professor? I have little time to discuss gardening now. What? No, no, not that. I just wanted to ask you to look after the girl. For me. Ah, Minette Mapkati. I knew your mother well. Many years ago, the Orthodoxy tasked me with creating a vaccine that would end the Great Plague. Sure enough, a year later, the pestilence had run its course. So, you succeeded in developing a cure? I fear not, my boy. The sad truth is, the initial strain of the disease had simply run out of victims to claim. Oh. But that initial strain spread across the land, mixing with local diseases and growing ever more virulent. The second pandemic was nigh. If such a plague took hold, civilization on Luxendark would face utter extinction. Our team of researchers worked night and day, day and night, to develop a vaccine before it was too late. It was a race against time. We scarcely slept, driven by the fear that if we failed, our world was doomed. Four long years later, we finally discovered the cure. A key member of my team was none other than Minette Napkati's mother. Still young she was, but with a brilliant mind. It was her discovery that led to our breakthrough, to wit, 
not a single cat had perished to the plague. She collected samples from cats around the world, trying to isolate the source of their resistance. She developed a prototype reagent and, unbeknownst to us, began testing it on herself. In the end, her work would claim her life, but not before she found our salvation. As a young mother, she cared profoundly for her newborn daughter. But as a researcher, she made the steel-hearted choice to act for the greater good. She fed this substance to her newborn girl? Just so. Not long after, we began to receive ominous reports that the second pandemic was showing signs of emergence. Half the people in the world were dead, and this new disease threatened to claim the rest. Times were desperate. We pored over the data Minette's mother had gathered from her experiments. And from the antibodies she had cultivated in her daughter's blood, we at long last found our cure. Incroyable! I can't believe my ears! That would explain why the child shares such a bond with felines. Minette's mother was desperate to find the cure. Her obsession overwhelmed everything else. Even the love she had for her young daughter. Huh. Brave saw the signs that the Great Plague was coming. He was the one who urged the Professor to begin his research. By the time you and Manette's mother finally conquered the Plague, Brave had raised the standard of revolt and defeated the ruling Church. <laughs> and so does the Wheel of Fortune turn. A young girl victimized by fate has found her way to me, a fellow cat fancier. I, Swordmaster Kami Izumi, vow to protect and safeguard the girl. Professor, when this battle is over, pray visit our humble home. But, uh... I have some fine shrubbery in my garden. It would be an honor to show it to you. Shrubbery, you say? Oh, I suppose I can find the time. Loves his gardening. Fair enough. You seem out of sorts, you. I suppose that was some story. Indeed. But we must attend to the task at hand. To the skyhold with you. Aye, aye, sir. Okay. To the skyhold we go. So, real quick, are we healed? No, we're not healed. So, let's go ahead and go here. Go ahead and get ourselves a little bath going. Um, is, it, is this the one that got done? Because this is Max. Okay, guys, so I'm going to end this episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like in the comments for the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.